Okay. Marvel's What If Episode 3 review. And this is just me personally. The best episode of the season so far. When you're talking about now telling different stories and different characters and different situations, that's fine. But to me, this was the best episode of the season so far. And I'm so happy by it. I really didn't like the first episode. I know that was their big thing, Captain Carter. Fine. I really didn't like it that much. And now we have uh, the second episode with uh, T'Challa and um, Black Panther. And it was all right, but I, I really didn't like that one either. I really wasn't feeling it. So I thought, oh, man, I'm going to hate all these episodes because, you know, they're just retelling the, the story from a different character. Now, I knew they were going to do that, but I thought it would be different. To me, this is the first episode that was really different to where now they're taking the story up to another notch and they're doing things that I really, I, I was really shocked by, but I really enjoyed it. To begin with the uh, the Black Widow with Sam Jackson, really uh, Nick Fury, going to see Tony Stark, and then she injects him with the needle, and okay, he's actually dead. It's like, okay, that's a shock. And then she goes on to uh, find the Hulk, and okay, he actually blew up and exploded. It's like, all right, he's dead. Same thing when it came to Thor's hammer he's dead and it's like okay now this is a real different story something we've never seen and Marvel's taking it to a high level to me this is really a what if scenario and the whole thing with Loki is to me genius and something that Loki at the time would do the way the way they told the story the way they did the pacing even though it was 30 minutes it kind of felt like an hour and I believe this is their best episode. And it was great that they brought, um, they didn't have everybody, but some of the, the voice actors to make it seem like it's connected and real in the universe. It was, man, I, I really wish this was the, the first episode. Cause I, you know, I'm now I'm starting to really like what if, and if the ending stays true to the next episode, I think we're in for a treat because now, the story will get longer. You know, each episode was one and I won't say one in the same, but they were separate. Now this one is, is getting real different. Now it looked like he's about to revive cap and, and captain Marvel said, what do we got to do? Uh, I forgot what she called them, but it, th this is what I'm looking for. And I don't know what anybody else is going to say, but now I am pumped. I'm excited for the rest of the season to see what's really going to go on. Because the first two are like, okay, I I understand. Yeah, I you just telling the the story from you know different perspective, but this one is the best, and I and I hope everybody uh maybe who was down on the series likes this one too. And I and I give hats off to Kevin Feige for, and I know it's just comic form, but remember all this is canon. And there's a there's an alternate universe where most of the Avengers die. I believe that's really good storytelling and you know it'll it's taking the story and now the mythology of what if to the next episode now if they can top this one with the next episode and i think that will be episode this one was three five and i think they're going to do nine episodes then the rest is going to be golden and the creators of what if said one of them said her favorite episode is episode six i think that's with dr strange so apparently that must be really you know, insane and crazy, but there are a lot of elements in this episode I like because number one, it did not feel like a Marvel show or a Marvel movie, if that makes any sense. The first two episodes felt like it was Marvel. This one felt like, okay, this one is what if. This one didn't feel the same. It didn't it didn't even feel like it was in the same universe, even though the story points were kind of the same. And if they could bring this for the rest of the episodes, I think uh, we're, they're going to have a hit on their hands. It's going to be a late hit. 
It's going to take time. But the more they tell stories like this, it's going to build. And I think the fans will be truly excited and happy. So that's my review on it. I hope you guys feel the same way. Like this was the best episode. Now, if you like early episodes, that's fine. But hopefully no one hated this because to me, this is the best episode that they did. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.